What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com, guys. Happy new release day, guys. 2023 Panini Daughters Football is here today, guys. Uh, this Friday here, December 1st. This is a hobby edition, six box break, pick and number one, guys. And again, all card ship. Look for some uh, case hits like Gridiron Marvels, Downtowns, Unleash inserts. And of course, the breakdown per box is a one autograph, one memorabilia, 18 rated rookies, 12 parallels, 42 inserts, one base or non rookie, no name parallel, and five base rookie. Uh, test parallels. So, here we go. So everybody bought this straight out. Daniel got this last ball mojo there, and there's everybody else. So again, uh, one, two, and three will be from the same case, guys, as it is a 18 box case. So. Here we go, here we go. Again, stacked into sixes already. Six, six, six. One, two, three, four, five, six for the dice rolls there. Let's see what we got. One. We're gonna go with one, two. The left side, so these right here will be four breaks, two and three in a little bit. Donner's football. I think a lot of people were excited for this, guys, because first of all, Donner's at a great price point. You know, under $300 a box. You get an autograph, you get a relic, but you also get to get some, like, optic rated, uh, rated rookie previews, right? Get some chances at some downtowns of the new draft class, right? Marvels. So, I think it's a fun product for early on in the 2023 NFL release calendar. Because as soon as Donruss comes, then you have, you know, Prism, then you'll have, you know, Optic, and by the time you know, we'll have freaking Immaculate NT and Flawless of this draft class. So this is what Optic is gonna look like at some point, just with the, the chrome finish. Some, like holiday parallels in here too, like these blandes during Christmas. All right, we'll rip open a couple boxes at a time, and then we'll go to the next one. Yeah, if you're just tuning in, guys, this is PYT number one. Number two is right after, and then number three is basically at two left, so I'm sure we'll be running that back at some point right after these breaks. Might squeeze in a couple other breaks, like some fillers or a little mini humming break in the meantime as well.
All right, here we go, guys. First three boxes. So we'll take it slow for the first box. Just kind of enjoy this break. Enjoy the box, the new new release today. And we'll kind of like skim through it. There's a Christian Gonzalez rated rookie. Russell Wilson Dominators insert. J.K. Dobbins, the Power Plus, Hendon Hooker, number to 100, nice, a little red, and we got a Josh Allen Relic, Jersey Kings to 399 for the Bills, going to David B., Michael Mayer, the Rookies, Tajay Spears, Jay Kaner, Legend Series, Isaiah Foskey to 50. Oops, that's the wrong size. There's a CJ Strout, Justin Fields, Dominators. There's a little bomb squad, those look pretty cool. Jordan Addison, nice little rookie phenoms, relic autograph. That's for the Vikings going to Clifford. There you go, man. Isn't that Keandre Miller? Jaron Hall. Amonra, St. Brown. Justin Jefferson, a little action uh, all pros insert. Can you pick it? Christian Wilkins, a little die cut. Devon HN. Little bomb squad there, Jalen Hyatt. Little Michael Wilson. Desmond Ritter. Little no name. Micah Parsons. Will Levis. Miller. John Domingo. Keenan Allen to 50. Rich Eisen fans of the game, Jets edition. Zeke. So here we your two hits here, a little patch autograph, Jordan Addison, and then a Josh Allen. Then we have some like numbered hits right here, bigger rookies. 
keep those separated. And I sleeved up a lot of them. I mean, I feel like if anything, these will stay sleeved. Some of them, some of them won't, but just because it's a new release, so new product. All right, next box, guys. Travis Kelsey, little action all pros. We got a Michael Mayer bomb squad. CD, little LT, KV on Thibodeau, Derek Carr, Devontae Smith, Miles Murphy, Will McDonald, a little die cut there to 75. CJ Stroud, the rookies. Legend series, Manny Forbes. Joey B. Najee, and a little B. Jean. Nice one there to 100, and that was last spot mojo. And we got Bryant Young. Canton Kings to 199. Tyler Scott. Tajay Spears. Jonathan Mingo. And then we got Dwayne McBride. That's a black out of 10 for the Vikings, which is Clifford. Come on, Witherspoon. Dorian Thompson Robinson to 49 autograph. Nice. Three to rookie autograph. That's for the Browns, Michael. T. Higgins, no name. Bomb Squad, Dalton Kincaid. Michael Mayer. Sam Laporta, red. Bijan. Hey, how's it going over there? Alright. I saw Tyreek Hill. Like Tyson the, Campbell. All the dollars breaks are almost sold out. Yeah, basically. They're all down to like two left. Action. Jameson Williams. Any downtowns you play it? Kelsey. Cal Travis? Yeah. They wouldn't have Jason, huh? <laughs> I pulled one of the international. Oh, that's cool. Jamar Jefferson, a little known plate, no name plate. Rashawn Johnson, Rice Bomb Squad. 
Clean Tune, Tank Dell, Zay Flowers, Jalen High Red, and a, uh, oh, that's one of those uh, one per box, right? I, I guess they're one per box? No, they're not one per box. Five base or rookie. A Kia's test parallel? That's interesting. Yeah, I'm gonna say. Jordan Addison. Bijan, nice one there out of uh, 500. We got the one out of 100 earlier. Falcons last bomb mojo. Sean Clifford. Otis Anderson. Josh Downs. I'm getting a feeling I never, 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 never. Oh. I'm nervous today, man. What? Oregon game. Yeah. Five o'clock. Saddest sound in the world. Elite series. Shoemaker. Brian Branch. To 32. Oh, the Eagles play the Cardinals on New Year's Eve. It's a great way to end the year, right? For you. <laughs> For bird fans. <laughs> Watch them lose, right? Nah, yeah, they're in Philly. I would have went to the game if they were in Arizona. When did you start working here last year? When did I start working here last year? Uh, like August. Oh, man, we could have went to the game, bro. Didn't you go last year? Yeah. Javante Williams. Next time. Oh. Devante. Elite series. Tyree Kill. Bomb Squad, Jameer Gibbs. And an Anthony Richardson. Nice uh, Leather Kings to $3.99. That's going to uh, the Colts. Colts is David to a tug of Iloa. Have you got the autograph yet on this box? I feel like we have it. There's an AR. Miller. CD Lamb. Little die cut there. That's number 75 for the Cowboys. And Will Anderson Jr. Little Patty Mahomes, Super Bowl MVP, Donruss. First time seeing that one. And Zach Charbonnet, nice. Out of 49. He had a great game. He got injured at the end of the game. He got injured? Yeah, he had like a knee injury. He was freaking... He was, doing, he was doing great, dude. Yeah, he scored a touchdown, I think. Yeah, I know. I, I had him and Luke Schoonmaker. Ooh. I got... I mean, not, sorry, uh, Jake Ferguson. Jake Ferguson, yeah. Yeah, he got one. Yeah, he got one too, yeah. And then I had, uh, uh, I had Some guy almost cashed out with, he bet like 100 bucks yesterday, I seen it online, it was like, a DK to score three touchdowns, and he was almost uh, there. He would have won like 18 grand on like a $50 bet. And he, he could have cashed out at like a 2,000, I don't know if he did though. I got like a 10x yesterday on, uh, I bet 25 and I got 2 Nice. I was sweating Tony Pollard so hard, bro. <laughs> yeah, but he didn't get one after all. He no, sucked yesterday, no, but he got I, one. I know. I needed a under uh, 88 and a half uh -huh. rush in receiving yards. <laughs> yeah. He had 83. Damn. I had DK over five. He had six. Yeah. Jake and Charbonnet touchdowns. And then I had Devon Witherspoon, four tackles. I meant to bet on, um, I meant to take uh, Tariq Woolen. Oh, okay. And I accidentally took Witherspoon. Uh, Witherspoon had zero tackles going into the fourth quarter <laughs> and ended up getting four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just nice. That's good.
It's an on branch, actually. Nice. There you go. All right, so there you go. So far through the first three, guys. There's one autograph relic. Relic, autograph, couple nice colors here, rookies. And then autograph there. So the three autos have been DTR, Jordan Addison, and Zach Charbonnet. And uh, then we've got three relics here, Josh Allen, Bryant Young, and Anthony Richardson. So let's see what else we can find over here, guys, in the second half. This is the first break, Savvy. First break. Number two is coming up next, and then uh, I haven't went through orders yet, but if number three and four or whatever sold out, then they'll be coming up after that. The only thing I have on my schedule is selling out, is breaking one and two. No problem. Yeah, I don't know. Did anything else sell out, guys? Let's see. Looks like number three is at one. So, about to sell out. Looks like the mini helmets sold out. So, probably do mini helmets before I do number three. And then four, five, and six are all at three left. So.
Alright, here we go. Next three. Zay Flowers, nice. Autograph to 49, Great Iron Kings. That's sweet. That's for the Ravens, Aaron. Marvin Mims. Anthony Richardson, the rookies. Bijan Bomb Squad. CD Lamb, Chase Brown, BJ Ojolari. That's another 50 foil. Then we got a relic here of Howie. Howie Long. Number to 199. Nice little Howie there. Aaron Connell. Is someone not focused today or what? Your partner. <laughs> Oh, well, that's why, yeah. I'd be like, duh, I'm breaking, bro. <laughs> yeah. Dominators. And I'm on her. St. Brown. Tajay Spears. Got a little Jalen Carter. A little Super Bowl uh, wild card. Road to the Super Bowl. Birdie. Pretty cool. I create a uh, test. Shoemaker. Then we got a scary Terry McLaurin. To 50. Bobby for the Giants, it looks like. Okuriki? Okuriki? Roshan Johnson? Or Roshan Johnson, I should say. Bijan, Bernie Kozar, Devon Witherspoon. I don't know, David. That's what I was talking to a customer of ours yesterday. Um, Eric, he's a Bears fan. And I told him, how, how do you feel about Justin Fields? Because, I mean, I, I've, always, I've always been honest with him, like, about, about him. It's like, he's shown flashes that he could be, you know, a, a Jalen Hurts and even better than a Jalen Hurts, honestly. Right? I mean, I, I personally believe he has a stronger arm. He's faster, you know, bigger, obviously. But the one thing he just hasn't been able to uh, to get over is just kind of his decision making right taking too long hesitating 
you know. So what? Why not? And you know, do do you blame that on the coaching? Do you blame that on just like the team overall? I mean, it's gonna be a big decision, right? I mean, because at some point, I mean, the Bears might end up with like the number one overall pick and like a top five pick on their own. So it's like, do you risk just keeping Jalen Hurts? Uh, J- uh, sorry, not Jalen Hurts. Do you risk keeping, uh, you know, a Justin Fields for another year or so and and passing up on like a Caleb Williams or something like that, especially if he does go into this draft? I mean, I'm not always sold on quarterbacks out of the, out of college that you know are supposed to be the next the next big guy because sometimes it just doesn't always transition well, right? Patrick Mahomes wasn't Patrick Mahomes in college. You know, none of these guys were that in college as, as much, right? They kind of developed and got better in the NFL. I I personally believe in Fields, but I just think they need to like let him let him like run the offense, let him like scale, cater to his strengths. I think that's why the Eagles' offense is so successful in that sense with like Jalen because they let him make all these decisions, right? Whether it's a run, a pass, you know, keeper, and in crunch time, I mean, Jalen, Jalen hasn't really turned over the ball much, right? He makes great decisions in crunch time and picks up those dubs. He's definitely not perfect, though, <laughs> Tyler Boyd. But it's gonna be interesting to see what happens. I personally think if you can, if, if if Justin Fields shows way better flashes throughout the season, for what what they have, I mean, go get him a big weapon, you know, maybe get him some offensive line help, and I mean, I think it's better. I think it's better that way because then now you're gonna have to race another quarterback, another draft pick on another quarterback. <laughs> Surround him with talent. He's still a rookie at the end of the day. Patrick Mahomes relic, to three ninety nine, and then. You're going to waste the number one overall pick on a quarterback, most likely, or a first-rounder, again, in a span of, like, three years. We'll see, I guess. George Pickens. Will Anderson Jr.? Should be an autograph coming up. There we go. Ooh, Tyreek Hill. Nice. Little Super Bowl Chrome autograph for the Chiefs. Chiefs. What a Jeff. That's awesome, man. Vaughn Miller. Like a n- nickname short print or something. I mean, that, that's the question, right? If you go plug in Jalen Hurts on the Bears and you go plug in Justin Fields on the Eagles, do they play better? In theory, you say yes, right? In theory, you say, well, yeah, Hurts has a better team, right? He has a better offensive line. He has better weapons, blah, blah, blah. But I, I, I personally think the Bears actually have I, – I, they got decent running backs. You know, I like Khalil Herbert. They, they traded for DJ Moore. Right? I mean, the year before they traded for what's his name, but he's not there no more. I like Darnell Mooney, right? I mean, <clears throat> it's, it's an interesting thing, but obviously that's hypothetical, right? I just think that Fields has shown that he can make the right decisions and not hold on to the ball long enough. And like I said, give him the, the, uh, the free power, you know, the, the range to just do whatever he feels best, right? Take off and run if it's not there, right? Do some more run pass options. Give Jalen basically evolve the offense around him and give him the the power to to make all the decisions really. You know, Mozzie Smith. But see that see this is my thing though. This is what I say about those people about saying like the Eagles have such a loaded roster. Eagles would be nowhere near ten and one if Jalen Hurts isn't their starting quarterback. I mean, we kind of seen it last year. The, the couple games he missed. Use this for this. Oh, my, my favorite gift. Um, <laughs> I'll tell you something like that. <laughs> um, you know, I see, we seen it last year with like Gardner Minshew, right? He stepped in 
I mean, he, he went in the shootout with the Cowboys, but threw like three picks. Had a horrible game against the Saints, and Eagles lost those two games, the games with Jalen Hurts is out. So, I mean, you can say all you want, like plug in someone else on the Eagles roster and, and they succeed. I, I just don't truly think so, man. Especially the way Jalen plays in crunch time, especially this year. This year, the Eagles are not blowing out teams this year, right? I think a lot of teams are scheming for them. The Eagles have been making great second half adjustments and finding ways to win ball games, right? And some of the plays that Jalen has done throughout this year is just been freaking amazing. Go look at his stats from the first three quarters or even first half and go look at his stats in crunch time, you know, when, when trailing in the third, fourth quarter and, and what his stats are. I don't think he's thrown a pick yet, you know. He's like 10 touchdowns, no picks. Record is like undefeated. It's, it's pretty amazing. Damian Pierce, Jalen Carter. Ooh, Bryce Young. It's like this kid. I think this kid is so good, man. I, he's just in a messed up situation. He's basically in a situation that Trevor Lawrence was his rookie year. Getting that head coach for him and then firing him the same year. Team is just horrible. Laporta. Yeah, I also think Trey Lance didn't get the, his fair share of opportunities though, David, right? I feel like they basically gave up on him. The year that they were going to give him all the power to do, do good was last year. Boom. Gets injured. Done. Right? Purdy comes in, takes over, and, and that's it. It just like, oh, well, we got Purdy. We, we, we did good with Purdy, which they did. I think, I think Purdy's a solid NFL quarterback. I don't think he's, like, amazing, super, super talented, but he, he makes all the throws. He makes all the right reads. Cedric Wilson, Jr., and, and does exactly what they need him to do on that offense to get the dub. Ten of, or one out of ten. Yeah, you just gave up on that dude so fast, though, which is sad. Like I said, teams just don't want to wait anymore. They don't want to give time to their quarterbacks to develop. Playing tune. Nice, go birds, baby. Josh Downs, no name. Sauce Gardner, Tyler Scott. Desmond Ritter. Marvin Mims. Legends. Pickens. Out of 50. That's the one thing, Damien. I, I, I'm not saying I called this, but I, I once said, man, if he starts racking up injuries, and he has been the last few years, he's going to be so injury prone. And I don't know, man. I, I just I don't trust the dude. Charbonnet, Devon Chan, and there you go. Was that all the autographs? I feel like it was, right? Um, or did we get shorted in auto? I feel like we got shorted in autograph. I'll have to double check again. Alright, that's one. Two, three, four, five. Yeah, we got short in the auto. Let me double check I didn't miss anything. Unless I put it in a different stack. Double check those base stack right now that I just put back over there, but it looks like we might have been shorter one auto. Which with Panini, I mean it does happen a little bit more often than tops, but there is a slight chance that, that extra auto is hiding in another box in this case. Yeah man, Joe Burrow the last three seasons already just hasn't been able to stay healthy. Start to have a full like training camp being healthy. I don't know. Let's 
see if we missed anything. Maybe I might have missed something. Dalton Kincaid. Well, I missed a Dalton Kincaid rookie, so it's good in my back. shorted like I said man unfortunately this is kind of like a pattern it's gonna be where all the inserts are at Unfortunately, I'm not seeing anything. Alright, well, I think we might have got shorted, guys, but like I said, I mean, uh, it could still be hiding in another box, unfortunately, but. No downtowns, though, so, I mean, definitely can still have some nice stuff in the remaining boxes. But we pulled some cool autographs in here, though, don't get me wrong. Addison. Charbonnet, Zay Flowers, DTR, a little Tyreek, so not too shabby, guys. Thank you guys so much. Again, remember, all card ships, so, you know, you'll get everything here, guys. A ton of cards I sleeved up, guys. I mean, some of them may stay sleeved. Obviously, all the numbered cards will be top loaded, but just wanted to uh, protect some of these rookies since it's a new release. Thank you, guys. Number two's coming up next uh, shortly, guys.